Hi, my name is, uh, my name is Nina. I am the head of marketing for Frontastic. Uh, Frontastic is a front end <coughs> platform that we offer for uh, the headless commerce um, architecture. So generally, if you look at e-commerce in recent years, you can categorize e-commerce into two types of markets, right? We've got the markets on, on the right hand, my right hand side, your left hand side, which is rather smooth sailing. The waters are clear, the view is clear, the, the, the road ahead is clear. And what you need in order to succeed in these sort of markets is, um, is our processes and our tools and our platforms that enable you to deliver consistent, reliable, stable um, customer experiences so that people know exactly what they are getting. You want to improve efficiency, you want to improve speed by really making sure you're aligning all the bits and all the, the steps in your sales process to the max. But there is not so much innovation and disruption needed here. In fact, any bit of innovation and disruption is probably going to harm your business in these sort of markets. Then we've got the other markets on the other side. Here, this is your typical VUCA world, right? This is volatile markets. There's a lot of uncertainty. This is complexity. This is ambiguity. Um, there is a surprise around each turn. There's disruption and innovation in the market constantly. You never know what's coming at you. So in these markets, you have to be flexible. You have to be able to adapt. You have to bring innovation to the market yourself in order to be able to stay on top of the competition, stay ahead of the competition, and really succeed in these markets. The problem that you're having is that in these disruptive and highly innovative markets, there are players going that have these type of teams, right? Millions and millions of dollars, large budgets, and a, uh, an army of highly skilled professionals that will help them create customer experiences, that will help them navigate and disrupt and innovate these markets um, to an extent that it is really, really difficult for everybody else in the market to keep up if they don't have these teams and these budgets at their disposal. The normal player you would think about here are the likes of Amazon, of Facebook, of Google. Um, we all know them and we all know what they are capable of doing. So is this the time to roll over and give up? It's not, obviously. Fantastic is here to help. What we bring to the table is a software platform that enables other players in these highly disruptive innovative markets with a simple tool to create digital customer experiences in a fast, agile um, and very innovative way that will help them to keep up with the big guns in their markets and make sure that even without the big teams and the big money, they're able to compete against the big guys. So how does this work? Frontastic basically is a front-end integration layer. You know that in a market where, or in, a, in a software architecture where um, devices, uh, customer journeys are fragmented and we use more and more many microservices on the back end to manage data, processes, content and everything else that you have. We are integrating all of those microsystems via APIs into our front-end integration layer, which then uh, delivers a front-end digital customer experience to any device that you need to communicate with your customers out there. Clear so far? No. No. Okay. Go again. So. Go again. All right. Cool. Uh, let me start differently. In the past, we had monolithic systems that would manage your entire e-commerce process, right? From front end to uh, to data and processes to logistics and warehousing, whatever have you. In modern e-commerce architecture, you create all these specific microsystems that handle a very specialized part of that e-commerce process. Um, so we have the, the headless CMSs, we have the commerce, uh, headless commerce systems in the back end, etc. Product information system, searches, whatever have you. What nobody thought about is how do you take all this data, all these processes, and deliver them to the customer, which is where value creation happens and which is where your business happens, right? So the front end as a microservice has not been really considered. This is what Protestic is going is, is here to change. We are delivering a front-end management platform that enables our customers to take all the data that they get via APIs from all the different microservices and deliver that to their customers on whichever device these customers want to interact with you as a customer or as a, as a retailer or as a brand. Right? So it doesn't matter anymore whether you're working on mobile, whether you're working on desktop, which smartphone they are using, which tablet they are using. We are here to make sure that you can deliver a front-end that is 
tailored to your customers uh, communication channels. Clear? Cool. A few of the customers we're working with and then I'll go more into detail. Um, Flaconi, Apollo, Universal Music is building uh, their merchandising stores uh, with Fantastic. Cronex is a very interesting case. Flash and Pulse we have just recently won. So there are a lot of big enterprise customers that are now working with headless CMSs or with headless commerce uh, solutions and they need a front end to help them with that. What is the big added value that we are bringing to them? There is, um, what well, we are adding, let me start again. Uh, the big added value that we're bringing to them is that our software is built in a way that we can decouple front end managers' tasks and front end developers' tasks. That means that if I'm working for Chromex and I'm a content manager, I can build a new page, I can build a new store within days, within weeks, instead of taking six months because I need to work with my front-end developers who have other things to do and who really don't want to help me push around the banner from left to right or create a new campaign landing page. We have an editor that enables front-end uh, managers and content managers to build these pages themselves. At the same time, that enables our front-end developers to work on components, on so-called tactics which really create value in the customer experience. So they can work on the hot shit, while our content managers can create the day-to-day -day business um, pages that are needed to drive value in the front end. All right, that results in three times faster launch. So as I said, instead of taking months, we can start building new stores within weeks. Um, when pages need to be changed, they are 10 times faster to be changed because I don't need to create a ticket, I don't need to talk to front-end developer, I can just do that myself as a content manager. At the same time, my front-end developers can focus on really creating added value or adding uh, components for my, for my stores and for my pages. We're creating 20% better conversion, that's what we see at Cronex, for example, uh, because we're focusing on mobile first. We're 100% mobile first. Mobile is where the internet is going, mobile is where we need to drive the conversion, and mobile is where the customer experience needs to happen, and they need to be innovated a lot. So that's the advantage we bring to the table. In terms of team, we've been founded in 2017. We are a fully remote company, currently 27 people in seven different countries across Europe. Um, we have a mailbox in the lovely place of Münster, but that's about it for the rest. We're all working from different parts uh, of Europe. That's us. To start and answer your question about partner and ecosystem straight away, we're currently uh, integrating with Commerce Cloud. We're working on a value proposition and integration with Spartacus as well, because there is an added value to putting, in putting these three uh, components together. In terms of um, SAP integrators, we're working closely with an economy to find out first the uh, joint customer case. I think everybody does. Um, generally, our business model is a partner-based business model. So we see ourselves as a standard software provider. We want to focus on software development, uh, but not on professional services. We're currently working on professional services ourselves and in, in uh, realizing customer projects. But in the future, we absolutely want to work only with a partner network. The partners that we are most interested for are um, next to the system integrators who would work with our you know, two integrators, also with headless CMS, etc. Are mostly um, e-commerce agencies because we are helping them to provide better customer experiences to their customers within a shorter time frame. So instead of spending 900 man hours in realizing an online store that is average at best, we can help them to create a lot better, um, more converting, more selling online stores with the same number of man hours and offer a level of, of innovation to their customers, which these customers usually wouldn't get otherwise. Very good. Yeah? Any questions?